All right, so this is the Trailite Okura. This is their premium flagship. Look at everything in here. Beautiful quality motorhome. This one that we're standing in right now is $345,000 worth. Uh, it's the price of a house. <laughs> but I mean, look at it. It's just all the fittings are beautiful. The bed's beautiful. Full size shower in here. Yep, you can hop down. I mean, look at this bathroom. Check this out. Stunning bathroom, couple of TVs, all the highest specs, everything feels beautiful and solid. No, no cheap uh, particle board anywhere in here. <laughs> uh, plugs for days, you know, these come 400 litres of fresh water in this baby, which is just insane for a motorhome. You think about the weight of 400 litres of fresh water, you know, at sea level, what's that? 400 kgs of, of weight. And then you've got your tanks on top of that. This one's got a slide out, so a big slide that slides out that way, and a beautiful big um, dinette there. TV on the wall and a swivel, sound bar underneath. These things are just primo. Um, they don't obviously have family options of these ones. <laughs> these are strictly, uh, you know, two, four birth ones. Um, yeah, got all the, all the bells and whistles. Look at this bench top here. This, that's. Um, it's like a composite or a stone bench top, the cutout draining board. Um, you know, obviously things like diesel heaters are all standard in these beautiful ones. Um, stunning motorhomes. These are the sort of thing you retire and sell your house, retire and live like a king seeing the country or a queen. All right, so this is the Matakana uh, two birth model. This one with, look at this, full dinette down the back. You could see 10 people that have dinner and up here, fully electric bed that can stay made up Ooh, lower it down at night sleeping in there uh, this is an awesome awesome looking model and it's still pretty tall under here with the bed up I mean you'd hit your head on it but you know it wouldn't be too bad uh, full fridge in this one you know as standard with these trail lights beautiful appliances small little like uh, um, cafe style table there with the captain's chairs which is primo uh, let's have a look in the bathroom. Nice big bathroom, full shower. They put drying racks in their showers at the top, which I really like. Um, really handy. And you've got ducted uh, down there, and if you can see, ducted diesel heating in these ones. So um, that bathroom is going to stay toasty and warm even with the door shut. You want to shut the door, Harv? <laughs> So Trailite also uh, stock this range called the Benima, Benima Milio. I'm sorry, I don't know where they're from and I'm not pronouncing that right. Um, they do really little compact ones with the pull down beds as well. Little um, compact rear kitchen here. It's actually quite well appointed, um, full oven still. And then a uh, yeah, nice big dry bathroom here, separate shower, toilet. Really nice fit. Um, they just do a whole range of, uh, depending on how small uh, you're comfortable driving. I mean, this vehicle itself would would fit in a standard car park, which in some places is awesome. But I mean, look, still got all the mod comms. Really well appointed. Full fridge freezer, which is nice. Full stove, which is always a bonus. Um, there seem to be a really nice range. Um, really well, with some biscuits here. I wonder if I can sneak a Mm, probably shouldn't sneak a biscuit. <laughs> All right, so we're now in the Melio 282. This one's interesting. It's got the pull-down bed up the front, but then behind me, above the lounge, it's got a second pull-down bed. I've never seen that before in a motorhome. Two living spaces, two full, you know, permanent pull-down beds. Quite interesting. Lovely big bathroom again. Um, small downside to this one is it doesn't have a lot of counter space here. Um, well, it's got pro probably enough. It's an interesting layout this one. I'm not sure why you would need a separate um, lounge up the back here. I suppose if there was two couples traveling, or maybe if you had teenage kids, they've got their own lounge bed at the back, and then you've got the lounge bed at the front. 
maybe. Maybe that's the idea.